Hello Toots, welcome to TechTed.com. Today we will understand database design process. How do we go for designing a database from a given universe of discourse or a given requirement? Okay, so entire lecture lecture will be concentrated about designing a database from a given requirement, right? So let's try to understand it. If you have given a requirement or universe of discourse or what we call it it as mini world world mini world because this is the world for my software design next software design this is my entire world okay well so how do we go for designing a database first of all from the given circumstances or mini world or universe of discourse we try to model data we try to understand the requirement specification Okay, so what are the requirements? For example, for a student, for a uh, department database where department is offering a course, we need to understand what are the requirements. Like, a uh, student will be opting a course from the department which has been offered by department. Okay, and then a uh, student will be opting only those course which has been offered by department department will have record of student department will have record of courses so all these are requirements which we need to understand and note it down okay so the first step uh, step is requirement collection and analysis itself okay so in this step what we do is we interview I mean we or the database designer uh, right now we are acting as a database designer so database database designer interviews database designer interviews the user okay so the first step is database de designer interact with the user and try to find out what are the uh, transactions or what are the requirement actually okay and then the output will be basically the data requirement okay so this is first step of, of our database design process now next step is conceptual design in this step or in this process design process what we do is we prepare a concise description of the requirement so what are the things to be done in this step is concise description oh sorry c i s e concise description of requirement okay and then detailed description of we try to model the detailed descriptions like we have uh, entities we have relationships among entities we have attributes and their domains so everything we try to model here okay for our universe of discourse for the given universe of discourse so this is detailed mm, description of entity type attribute relation and relation and constraints so this is what we do in the second step of our database design process and after this over after we have I mean com successfully completed this process this step we have a conceptual schema I mean high level high level conceptual schema okay so now we understand what are the requirements what what are the things we have to do so we have a detailed description of requirement and this what we have done here can also act as reference to reference to the 
requirement okay so this can also work as the agreement between the uh, client and the uh, the developer as a requirement agreement of requirement basically okay so this is this uh, our conceptual design step so up to this step up to this step okay now we will go to next step but up to this step everything was database independent dbms database system independent we don't care which system which uh, system whether we are going to use oracle mysql db2 okay anything uh, ms sql so whatever we are going to use for our uh, purpose up to this step it was independent independent of the database management system now what we are going to do is dependent to the system which we are using so here what we will be using is now next will be logical design the next step is logical logical design step now what we are going to do in this step as a database designer we will create the logical design on our database system for example creation of tables or uh, creation of relationship among tables that is that what we call as integrity constraints and all these things defining attributes their domains all we do in this step that is called actual implementation what we call it as implementation up to this step what we do is did is like we calculated everything over paper like what are the requirements and all but now we will do actual implementation okay we will create tables we will design a relationship we will define attributes and all okay so after this step we are having a logical schema okay so we have logical schema ready okay now from logical schema what we go for is to design a physical design i mean physical design okay so this physical design what we do in this step is we take care about the indexing indexing access mechanism okay and then file structure all these things are taken care here in this physical design and afterwards after this physical design we have a internal schema or we can say physical schema internal schema okay well so this is entire database design process but i'll also explain how the functional design works with this functional design is consider you have an application to develop you will be developing database at one side parallelly you will be developing software like how the database i started this discussion on this database management system with the example of uh, a three tier architecture where we where client request to the business logic server or web server and web server interact with the database server so web server design or what we call it as the software which resides on web server also to be designed with this database design okay so this is your requirement here you get from this requirement you also get functional requirement right functional requirement okay so from this functional requirement we do you do functional analysis functional analysis okay and then this function whatever is the function required you try you try to find out the uh, transactions like what will be the transactions for example uh, once you are uh, sure like a uh, student will be opting a course then you will be uh, you will be defining a transaction that once student opt a course there should be a transaction in the uh, student course table there should be a entry like student id and the course id they should be associated and entered into a table relationship table okay to maintain that this student has taken this course okay so all these transactions you will specify 
so high level basically here we do is high level uh, transaction specification okay here we have I have sorted of space I'll draw a neat diagram and upload it okay so this is transaction specification and then after this and yes this step once you have decided your transactions this step will also affect your physical design space uh, step in the database design okay so this high level transaction will affect this physical design okay so now from this high level specification what you do is you go for a I mean you go for application programming application programming okay and this application programming gives output as I mean this is application programming design design okay and this application programming design I mean we are discussing here the functional uh, designing process like our software design process okay so from this application programming design we go for transaction implementation okay transaction implementation and this transaction implementation also uses this internal schema okay internal schema and this gives you output as a application okay this is our interest from universe of discourse we have developed a application well so how do we go for it I'll explain it again first of all we from universe of discourse we get requirement okay so in this requirement analysis phase we get uh, uh, from this phase we get a data requirement data requirement is used in conceptual design process where we do our concentration for this next next uh, 10 lectures will be this process where we will design our conceptual model using ER model okay so next will be conceptual schema I mean the output will be conceptual schema after this step we have conceptual schema and then this will go for logical design where we go for designing or where we go for actual implementation we create tables and define relationships and all okay and then after this you go for physical design physical design is designing access mechanism designing indexing indexing techniques designing file structure and all so this is these parts after this from this logical design from this uh, logical design and physical design and inter internal schema I mean this is the output so these steps are database software dependent okay and these physical design and all are you need not to bother about all the software packages all the DBMS packages whether it is open source MySQL or you have Oracle these things are handled by the database system itself he will create his, his own access mechanism and file structure and all okay so this is where up to which you have to bother you have to work hard you design you have to design a structure for your database I'll be showing you a demonstration for this okay and then this is physical design likewise also the functional design process is associated and this is also associated to our database design processes okay so I hope you understand I'll be uploading a neat diagram for this lecture and if you have any doubt you can ask this your doubt in doubt section so see you in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching